Gravity is an enigmatic force that governs the motion and structure of the cosmos. You might think you know about gravity, but it is actually quite strange and still not fully understood. It governs everything from keeping you in your seat to the orbits of planets and structure of galaxies. It is a fundamental force of nature, yet it stands apart in its operation from the other three fundamental forces of nature. In this video, we will explore what gravity actually is and try to ponder on its more mysterious aspects. Stay tuned to find out what makes gravity unique. The Nature of Gravity In classical physics, as described by Isaac Newton, gravity is a force that attracts two masses. However, Albert Einstein proposed a very different idea. There isn't really a force of gravity. Instead, what we perceive as the force of gravity is actually the result of the curvature of space-time. Space-time is a four-dimensional construct that blends the three dimensions of space, length, width, height, with the dimension of time. Imagine space-time as a fabric. When there is no mass or energy present, this fabric is flat. However, when a mass, like a star or planet, is present, it causes the fabric to curve, much like a heavy ball placed on a trampoline. The greater the mass, the more space-time curves. This curvature influences the movement of objects. In the absence of other forces, objects move along the straightest possible paths in this curved space-time, which are called geodesics. When a planet orbits a star, it's not being pulled by the star. It's following the curved space-time created by the star's mass. This is why all objects, regardless of their mass, fall at the same rate in a gravitational field, ignoring air resistance. The paths that objects take within this curved geometry, a result of their speed and direction combined with the space-time curvature, dictate how they interact gravitationally. For example, the reason Earth orbits the Sun is not because of a force pulling it, but because it is following a curved path in the space-time distorted by the Sun's mass. The presence of energy as well as mass can also dictate the curvature of space-time. This includes not just tangible mass, but any form of energy including light. In fact, light beams are also bent when they pass near a massive object, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. Einstein's equations of general relativity are the mathematical formulations that describe how mass and energy dictate the curvature of space-time, and these equations have been confirmed by many experiments and observations since Einstein proposed them. This framework has led to predictions and discoveries such as black holes, the expansion of the universe, and the bending of light from distant stars, all of which have been observed and measured. There is more to gravity than meets the eye. Gravity, one of the four fundamental forces of nature, stands out with several unique characteristics that differentiate it from the electromagnetic force, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force. Infinite range. Gravity is a long-range force with an infinite range, meaning that no matter how far apart two masses are in the universe, they will exert a gravitational pull on each other. This is because the strength of gravity decreases with the square of the distance between two objects, following Newton's law of universal gravitation. While the force does get weaker over distance, it never truly reaches zero. Always attractive. Gravity is always attractive, it never repels. Every mass pulls on every other mass, which is different from the electromagnetic force where charges can be positive or negative, leading to both attraction and repulsion. This attractive nature of gravity is what keeps planets orbiting stars, moons orbiting planets, and forms the structure of galaxies and galaxy clusters. Cannot be shielded. Unlike electromagnetic forces, which can be shielded or neutralized, for example, a Faraday cage can block external electric fields, gravity cannot be shielded. There is no anti-gravity material that blocks or negates the gravitational force. This is because gravity is not based on charge-like properties, but is a result of the curvature of space-time itself, caused by mass and energy. Weakness and Dominance while gravity is the weakest of the four fundamental forces, about 10 to the power 38 times weaker than the strong nuclear force, it is the most dominant force at astronomical scales. 
The weak and strong nuclear forces are significant only at subatomic scales, and the electromagnetic force, although much stronger than gravity, tends to balance out at large scales because positive and negative charges neutralize each other, leading to a net effect of zero. Gravity, on the other hand, only adds up. The more mass there is, the stronger the gravitational pull, without any cancellation. This cumulative nature of gravity allows it to shape the structure of the universe. It is responsible for the formation of stars from clouds of gas, the binding of stars into galaxies, and the clustering of galaxies into larger structures, such as galaxy clusters and superclusters. On cosmic scales, gravity is the main actor in the dynamics of the cosmos, driving the expansion of the universe, influencing the paths of galaxies, and bending the fabric of space, time itself, which we observe as gravitational lensing. The dominance of gravity at large scales is also evident in cosmic phenomena like black holes, where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. Similarly, dark matter, which does not interact electromagnetically, only reveals itself through its gravitational effects, further binding galaxies together and affecting their rotational speeds. The Quest for Quantum Gravity in the realm of quantum mechanics, forces are described in terms of particle exchange, adhering to the principles of quantum field theory. This framework has been extremely successful in explaining three of the four fundamental forces of nature within the standard model of particle physics. Photon and electromagnetic force. The electromagnetic force is mediated by the exchange of photons. Photons are massless particles of light that carry the electromagnetic force between charged particles. This interaction is incredibly well understood, with quantum electrodynamics QED, providing a highly precise theory that has been experimentally verified to an extraordinary degree of accuracy. W and Z bosons and weak force. The weak nuclear force responsible for radioactive decay and hydrogen fusion in stars is mediated by W and Z bosons. These particles are quite massive, which is why the weak force has a very short range. The theory describing their interactions, electroweak theory, successfully unified the electromagnetic and weak forces into a single framework and has been confirmed by various experiments. Gluons and strong force. The strong nuclear force, which holds quarks together inside protons and neutrons, and keeps protons and neutrons together in atomic nuclei, is mediated by gluons. Gluons are massless, like photons, but they carry a type of charge known as color charge, associated with the strong force. Quantum chromodynamics QCD, is the theory that describes these interactions and is a well-established part of the standard model. Graviton and gravity. Now, we come to gravity, the most familiar force at the macroscopic level. Yet it remains elusive in the quantum realm. In quantum field theory, the exchange of hypothetical gravitons would mediate gravitational interactions, similar to how photons mediate electromagnetic forces. Gravitons would have to be massless, because gravity has an infinite range, and have a spin of 2, which corresponds to the tensor nature of gravity. They would convey the force of gravity by interacting with the energy of particles, not just their mass. The graviton, however, remains undetected and entirely theoretical. The key difficulty in observing potential gravitons is their incredibly weak interaction with matter. Unlike photons, which interact readily with charged particles, gravitons would interact so weakly with other particles that detecting them with current or foreseeable technology is beyond our reach. The quest for a quantum theory of gravity is also about developing a consistent framework that merges quantum mechanics with general relativity. General relativity describes gravity as the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy, and it works incredibly well on large scales. Quantum mechanics, with its particle exchange forces, works incredibly well on small scales. Yet, these two theories describe the universe in fundamentally different ways, and they have proven difficult to reconcile. One of the most promising approaches to a quantum theory of gravity is string theory which posits that the fundamental constituents of the universe are one-dimensional strings rather than point particles, and these strings' vibrations give rise to the particles and forces we observe, including a graviton. Another approach is loop quantum gravity, 
which attempts to quantize space-time itself, without relying on the string concept. Both of these approaches, and others, are still in development and far from complete. A successful theory of quantum gravity would not only have to predict the existence of gravitons, but also explain how the smooth space-time of relativity emerges from the quantum world. Such a theory would represent a profound leap in our understanding of the universe, potentially as significant as Einstein's original theory of relativity itself. Conclusion The Uniqueness of Gravity Gravity's role in the universe is without question, but its true nature remains one of the most profound mysteries in physics. It is a force that is felt by all, yet fully understood by none. As we continue to explore the universe, both at the grandest and tiniest scales, gravity remains a central piece of the cosmic puzzle, guiding our quest for a deeper understanding of the fundamental workings of the universe. The exploration of gravity's quantum aspects, particularly the search for gravitons, is not just an academic pursuit. It represents a bridge between the macroscopic world we see and the microscopic realm we cannot, between the certainties of general relativity and the probabilities of quantum mechanics. Whether or not gravitons will ever be observed, the quest to understand gravity is pushing the boundaries of human knowledge, challenging our perceptions of reality, and expanding our understanding of the universe. Theoretical physicists are still exploring the deeper nature of gravity. Some theories, like string theory, propose that gravity and other forces may emerge from even more fundamental phenomena. In these theories, gravity exists as a byproduct of the way fundamental strings vibrate and interact. In summary, while science can describe how gravity works and predict its effects, the question of why it exists takes us to the edge of scientific understanding and into the realm of philosophical contemplation. It's one of the many questions that drive scientific inquiry forward, as we seek to understand not just the laws of the universe, but the reasons behind them.